Hi, my name is Noah DeLay. Today, we are going to be talking about how climate change is affecting birds. We're gonna be focusing on two different species of birds and how climate change affects them. The black skimmer on the left and the rufous hummingbird on the right. Climate change will have quick and permanent effects on bird populations around the world, especially in North America. If climate change doesn't come to resolution quickly, two thirds of all the 2059 species of birds in North America will likely go extinct. Deforestation, temperature rise, and sea level rise all attribute to the loss of ecological niches that birds fill. With the loss of their ecological niche, many birds cannot get the food that they need. Adaptivity separates the birds who survive and can find different means to gain food and those who don't survive and go extinct. The black skimmer or Rhinchops niger is a very, has a very unusual ecological niche. They skim the surface of the water and near beaches and scoop up small fish as they swim. The black skimmer is one of the three species of skimmer in the world and the only one that can be seen in the US. Black skimmers are a type of bird called a shorebird. Shorebirds nest and mate on the shores of beaches or mudflats. This is an example of a type of bird that is seriously threatened by sea level rise and global warming. Black skimmers exclusively eat and breed on the shores and mudflats. As the sea level rises, their nest sites will begin to disappear and the black skimmer numbers will drastically fall. The global temperature is expected to rise 1.8 to 5.4 degrees Celsius. If the temperature does rise to these levels, the remaining glaciers around the world will continue to melt and increase the amount of water in the ocean. In between 2012 and 2016, Greenland lost 247 billion tons of ice. With new oceanic water levels, shorebirds across the world are expected to lose 20 to 70% of their natural habitat. When observing these projections, it is important to realize that under the current Trump administration, we are headed for the extreme levels of climate change impact. With these large habitat losses, all shorebird species will be at risk. Blue herons, seagulls, and snowy egrets, not just black skimmers. Rising sea levels not only destroys breeding habitats for black skimmers, but pushes shorebirds further inland, closer to predators. Outside of their natural habitat, black skimmer eggs and chicks are undefended from coyotes and foxes. This phenomenon is called predation, and it has already been happening all over the world. It is estimated that in the Arctic migratory bird zone, predation rates have tripled. In North America, predation rates have doubled due to loss of habitat for both the predators and the birds. If sea levels continue to rise, black skimmer populations will essentially go out of the frying pan and into the fire. Here's a quick video of a black skimmer. I'd like to thank Go Trails for this video. The Rufus hummingbird, or Celephorsus rufus, is a charismatic green and orange hummingbird that used to be seen all over the Bay Area. However, in the last five years, their numbers have dwindled dramatically and they've all but disappeared from the Bay Area. 
Although they are small, even from hummingbirds, they play a large role in the ecological cycle. Hummingbirds, after insects, are the largest pollinators on the planet. Pollination is key to plant reproduction and many plants have actually evolved to entice hummingbirds. Over the last 50 years, Rufus hummingbird populations have decreased 62% officially putting it on the endangered bird watch. Their population decreases at a rate of about 2% each year. The Rufus hummingbird suffers from different effects of climate change than the black skimmer. Rufus hummingbirds are a type of bird called a migratory bird. This means they spend one period of time in the winter in one place, and then in the breeding season, or summer and spring, they move to a different location. In the case of the Rufus hummingbird, they travel over 1,500 kilometers on their normal path to get from one destination to another. These migration patterns have remained the same for the last century, but in the last 15 years, they have begun to slowly shift. During the last century, the global temperature has risen 0.74 degrees Celsius, and this has greatly affected the migration pattern of the Rufus hummingbird. This is because Rufus hummingbird populations decide when to migrate based on their sense of temperature. And the increased levels of temperature have made their internal senses all wrong. As you can see in pink, the normal migratory path takes the Rufus hummingbirds along the coast of California and through the Bay Area where we would normally see them. But in the new migratory path that is slowly shifted eastward due to climate change, taking the Rufus hummingbirds through states like Idaho and Colorado, this trip is much longer. It takes the hummingbirds about eight to 11 days longer to reach their destination than before, according to the Wilson Journal of Ornithology. Although eight to 11 days may not seem like a long time, many seasonal plants in the Pacific Northwest only bloom for about a week. These plants provide vital nectar sources for the Rufus hummingbird. Also, without the Rufus hummingbird to pollinate these plants, the plants will not be able to survive and reproduce. Although not directly related to climate change, insecticides are a major contributor to the decline of hummingbird numbers. According to a recent study by the American Bird Conservatory, a single seed coated with insecticide is enough to kill a songbird. In 2012, 789 million pounds of insecticide were deployed across farmlands in the U.S. alone. Insecticides are a very harmful part of, the, of farming, and we need to eliminate these harmful practices. my references. I'd like to thank everybody in these sources and the YouTube videos that I showed. Thank you.